Hey, Kieran, do you play football? Oh, uh, nah, basketball, mate. Oh, yeah, we've seen him firing hoops outside his house. Shooting hoops, shooting. Anyway, I'm setting up a five-a-side football team. That's not really my thing. Oi, who are you hooting at, curb crawler? I thought you were stood there touting for business. Do you know you are lucky I don't grab you out of that car and lamp you one? You wouldn't. But we're mates. Surprise for you. Mm, go on, I like surprises. Have you not finished this yet? No, checking the tension. You're watching a craftsman at work here, mate, not some grease monkey. Speaking of grease monkeys, where is Ross? Well, the call that. Who made you out of HR? Right, if you're after more money, you can forget it. Oh, it's definitely not that. There's uh, Debs about her. Yeah, we're playing hide and seek. Why? I suppose you'll find out soon enough. She's uh, giving me my old job back. So does this mean Ross is out now, then? Why are you asking me? Bru? Yeah. Oh, cheer up. I'm sure James will get you a dog. Do you want to have a word? No, don't you dare. Anyway, you might want to have one with your brother. I think he might be up to his old tricks again. Have you had her out spying for you? Uh, no, I haven't, thanks. Ignore me. It's just a vibe I was getting. What about what? Or should I say who? Alicia. Well, I thought we'd eliminated her from our inquiries. Yeah, I did, but... But what? Well, her and Robert were getting all cosy in here yesterday. Alicia? No way. Look, they both like to flirt, you know that. Yeah, I know, but then they left together. And then this morning, I saw them having a cosy chat and she went off with him in his car. See, I knew it, Andy. I told you. But I hope I'm wrong as well, but we can't just ignore that. We're out on the last later, then, or what? I can't leave the house, can I? I'm a stupid curfew. Oh, yeah. I'll just fetch a few can round to your house, then, shall I? Stand outside your window and wave away. <laughs> Jason, that's why I love you. Oh, what the... Adam! Oh, sorry. It's heavier than it looks, this. Get as much for it now, you know. It's dented. <laughs> You're quite funny, you. you no, know, is there anyone round here doesn't take me for an idiot? Uh, no. I'm sure Victoria will be grateful. <laughs> Already way ahead of you, mate. You just help me with all the hard work. Can I take all the credit? Who's the idiot now, eh? <laughs> it remind me why I'm helping you with this, actually. Because you're my best mate and my business partner. Well, if we still have a business, that is. I'll tell you what, though, there'll be a drink in this, you know. Price of copper. You know what? You and your mum could be onto something. I bet you, yeah, I am. Andy, I can't stop. David will think I've run off and left him. Well, maybe he's not alone there. Excuse me? David? Uh, Chaz saw you and Robert this morning. And, well... Well, what? <laughs> Have you been drinking? Come on, Andy, you can't seriously think that me and Robert are... Well, of course not, but my brother has got farm. And people around here like to gossip. Like who? Like Katie. She's only worried about you. We all are, because we know what it's like. Where are you going? Just set Chaz and your missus straight, because this is flipping ridiculous. Come on. Left the wife minding the till then, have you? Yeah, she's been here well all morning. Are you gossiping for England? And we all know I put her up to it, don't we, Katie, eh? I had to warn her about him. Can we not take this out the back? Nothing to hide, so you can stop spreading lies about me and other people's fiancés. Whose fiancés? Chaz, I mean, come on, you know me. I know. I mean, I might, I might have doubted you for a nanosecond, but I was just looking out for you. And we do think that it's after you. Who? I need to wear very cosy in here yesterday. Uh, is anyone going to fill me in? Anyone at all? Well, apparently, I've been playing away with Robert, which is not true. Ovs. Ovs. Uh, this car crash has got nothing to do with me. Well, I should hope not. If you want to keep your no claims bonus. Anything else for that matter? But seriously, he practices that who me face in the mirror at home. And he's very good at it. Well done. You know what, Katie? Why don't me and Alicia show you exactly what we've been up to? Hmm? What's this? That's all the money I got for half an hour's work, dropping your worthless boiler off at the scrapyard. Well, no, actually, it's the money that we got. I wanted you to have it. Because you've had a lot of expense with the new boiler and everything. Oh, 
Oh, well, I'd figured you keep it, you know, for time and expense. And errands. Yeah, so did I, actually. <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from, trust me. You know, when you were dropping the boiler off, I was having a word with the yard manager. Oh, yeah, no, I saw you in a nice warm office just chatting. Networking make big difference. He was showing me all the prices for different types of scrap. Easy money, mate. Low outlay. All we need is a van, some tools, and a place of our own. <laughs> yeah, but me and you, scrappers. No, no, you and me, minted, mate. Oh, that's a genius idea. Oh. I'll get the bears in and we'll talk then, eh? Ask her out. So, uh, fancy helping us celebrate? Just us? Like a date? Oh, come on, Vic. We were good together before I screwed everything up, and you know it. But if you don't want to risk it again, I get it. I mean, I will be gutted, but I get it. Adam, I'd love to go out with you again. You would? Well, <laughs> of course you would. Why wouldn't you? I mean, look at me. I'm just <laughs> glad you finally got that screwed on tight again. And if we are going out again, I just think it makes sense to take things slowly. Yeah, yeah, fine, whatever you want. Only, yeah, uh, this going out thing. Oh, we can stay in at yours. I'll even buy the takeaway. Perfect. So, I know you've all got a low opinion of me, but this is the real reason Leisha and I were together. Here you go, mate. I wanted it to be a surprise. I can get them done for the other team, too, if you like. I don't know what to say. It's amazing. You and your runaway imagination. Uh, look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have got carried away with it all. Apologies are in order. To you, too, I know. I'm really, uh, I'm really sorry about all this. Oh, I never doubted you for a second. Apologies accepted. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a meeting to go to. Right, well, you can get me a drink. A large one. You'll have to get it yourself. I've got to go. No, not again. You did this yesterday and you're gone ages. Sorry, it's Moira. Kane's in hospital. Well, that certainly puts things into perspective, doesn't it? Come on, we're going. Uh, hang on. I've just got one more thing I need to clear up with Robert. Katie, can you just leave it? But if Alicia is in the A in your contacts, then who is? You know this A you were texting the other day, asking to kiss and make up? You really want to know? We had a row over business. I was winding him up. That's what I do, apparently. Yeah. Look, if, I, if I'd have known it to cause all this grief, you lot obsessing over some text, I'd have said something sooner. It's just his lame way of apologising. The only thing I'm guilty of is homophobia. I'm sorry, mate. It was out of order. Yeah, well, I've heard worse. So you were pretty sure I wouldn't drop you in it? Well, you don't need the hassle either. At least that'll be Katie off her backs, for now. So, back to business as usual. Just business. You know the score. <laughs>